Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am going to show you another demo of a Spring Boot project and this is a SIP management and here now uh, before we start the demo let's understand the tools and technology we are using under this project so this is a Spring Boot project we have a uh, following the embassy architecture so we have a controller, DTOs, DAOs, service classes and the controllers and the configuration file here and to manage the front end it's using JSPs and forms into the JSP. So uh, to deploy the application, it's running over the Tomcat server. And uh, to manage the dependencies, we are using Maven application. So form.xml is there that contain all the configuration and uh, dependencies. To manage the backend of the application, we are using MySQL Workbench. So here we have a database uh, under my MySQL Workbench. So under the user table we have a different types of role in this application so it's a sip and management so there are like uh, some admin can add some functionality related to the user customers or the product and where the test can check the shapes and all so we'll see that things in a while so if you want this source code you're going to connect with uh, whatsapp or email with us so our team will give you the complete project and they will set up the project in this condition after that uh, you, you need to follow me how can you um, run this application and how can you operate this application so to run the application just open the first package under this here we have a file ship management application just right click over there over this class and go to run as run it as a java application or spring boot app so i'm going to run it as a java application when i click on the java application the automatically the tomcat server will be start and it will run on a specific port in my case uh, the port is 9090 so i mean i need to create the url and this is my context part so i'm going to just open my browser and i enter the url as a local host column the port number which is 9090 and my context path when i enter this the application will launch and it will be display this kind of interface as a launch page or as a home page so when you click on this uh, bar icon so it will hide my sidebar like this so this is the welcome page and right here we have a multiple options like home pages there when we click on the home page the same page will arrive and when I click on the sign in, a login form will arrive. So, our admin or our end user both can use uh, the same form and they can log in here. In a while, we'll see one by one. Uh, before that, let's uh, understand the other things here. As a registered, uh, as, as a register form is there, so a new user can register into the application. And the last one about this page is there. So, some text messages there, the simple static page is there. So let's see first how the registration will work. So to register a new user, you just need to enter a valid uh, data here. So I'm gonna enter an email ID and the password and the valid mobile number. So 10 digit number. So I'm gonna enter the previous number, click on the save. So Bianca, uh, a new user is added, user. Bianca uh, is registered successfully. So when I refresh the user table here, I can see the new record with this name. And uh, now let's log in as an admin first and see what admin can do over there. And then we'll come to the end user. So for the to get the user ID and the password for the admin, again you have to go on to the database, open the user table. Under the user table, you will find the login ID as an admin at the right admin .com. Mm, and enter the email id enter the password here so uh, all the users are for using the same tables so how can you differentiate the things like which user is a admin and which one is a end user so here you can see the role name the first role name is a admin so it will work as an admin and other user will be the end user similarly an, an, another way to find it we have a role id column under the role id column the admin always will be a with role id one and other user will be with role id two Okay, so now I just enter the username password for the admin, click on the login button. Now I can log in as an admin. So at the top menu, I can see some options. So welcome admin is a message and under the my profile, I can as an admin, I can manage and edit my profile and other thing I have a change password function in the logout. So I'm not going to log out now, but because in the left menu, we have a multiple option like customer list. So what can I do? Whatever the ship customers are there, 
they will be available in this list and this data is going to be uh, coming from the database so also we have a two option here to search by first name so i can filter the data by the first name and other thing we have a search by last name and when i perform the search operation it will filter data for me and i just click on the reset automatically the same data will come again uh, another option we have a delete option so i can click on the checkbox i can click the delete button the data will be deleted automatically and from the database also this data will be gone should be gone and here is only to record now we'll add them later another important module of the application is a shipment so what is the segment uh, any customer will come and they will uh, register or log in into their application into the application and they will enter the data or for some parcel or some zip so that record will be displayed here so these are the four to three segments are there and sender name is there receiver is there and sender email id receiver email id address all the details will be there here we have an update tracking info so if i want to update any uh, parcel number let's suppose i have a parcel id one uh, five or six times zero four and i want to update as a shipped currently it's not shipped because the currently tracking list will show the status so currently uh, zero four is in in shipping so i'm going to edit it and i'm going to update it as shipped now the status will update and it will display here in the shift uh, in, the, in the list as a shift so if i want to update any tracking info i can update it from there also <clears throat> here we have another option to update the cost like i can check the current cost of the parcel is 50 uh, r and 50 rupees and 80 rupees for less than 100 is equal to greater than 100 is uh, like uh, 80 so I can update it like let's suppose I enter 90 no, 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 not 90 60 and 90 and if I view it I can see it 60 and 90 now this is the admin part you can manage the um, uh, ship uh, uh, shipments and they can uh, like uh, track the list they can update the status of the data now I'm going to log in as an user and see what a user can do over there so I have another user, let's suppose we have this username, test at the rate test dot com and the password is test at the rate one, two, three. I just enter this user and hit the login button. I can see the same operation here as well. Also, I can check the view cost. So this is the cost, but as a user, I can't edit or update it. So, okay, here's the important model where I can add a uh, shipment. So let's suppose I have a shipment, so I want to send a sender name. So let's suppose sender user sender user here and here i'm going to enter the receiver user and the email let's add some related data you can add uh, as per the requirement so i'm going to send it as sender either at gmail and let's go receiver either at gmail.com some valid 10 digit numbers so i'm going to enter Sender's address, receiver's address, shipment information about the product, and the shipment weight. Let's suppose I enter the 5 kg and I'll click and proceed. So, here another page will come that will ask you to for the payment. So, enter the payment detail over there. This is a dummy payment gateway. So just enter the payment gate uh, payment detail here and the CV number and click on the same. The thank you or uh, kindly note your track ID, tracking ID. So this is my tracking ID. So if I go to the shipping list, I can see the new data or ship that is shipped by me, but means this user. And this is the detail over here. And I can track my shipment, but currently it's not display here because the admin is not updated the status yet. So quickly, I'm going to log it. Log out. Going to log out with this. I'm going to log in as an admin again, and I can check the track list. And uh, sorry, update track list. So here I can see the record, and I'm going to update it as a in progress. In the way or in progress, something anything you can update as according to the shipping uh, status. So now I can check this into the list also uh, in processing and shipping, the packaging or 
let's suppose I'm going to add it as a packing. So now it will update as a packing. As an admin, I'm doing this, but when again I log in as a test user, I will test it that it test. And under the shipment list, now I can check that status as a packing here. So that's it. Uh, so that's the complete demo of the application. So you what now if you want this, how what the things you will get? You will get the access over your your email and then, then in that you will get a zip file that contains a source code database project report. Also, we have services to get the configuration support. So my team member will connect with you, they will take your um, like remotely, they will connect with you and set up the complete application at your machine and it will work same as source in the demo. And uh, thank you.